display of what's being done spiritually. Man, you just cracked heads and twist caps. I got a tape coming out on that crib, on the Crips, and how they were uh, connected really was a tribe. So it's going to be coming out next week. I mean, they this week. All right, so hey, Brother Rob, we're going to let you go, man, because uh, I know you got to, uh, you know, take care of business and do your research and chill. We'll, hey, we can come back on tomorrow or whenever you're ready. Just let me know because this, this is what we do. We bring the news you can use to the family and to the tribes on the land. We we uh, we waking up the tribes on the land. We giving them what you can use, baby. We we giving you hope. We the gods. Oh, come fuck that! I, I don't want to give hope. I want to give them reality. Yeah, we give them reality. Some people Look, don't like the long as you listen. Jesse Jackson say keep hope alive. Long as a motherfucking hoping, he ain't attaining. <laughs> we trying to attain some shit now. Fuck hoping. We done with that shit. Kill hope right now. Murder hope. Put two bullets between that bitch here. Let hope go. We don't need hope now. We need motherfucking thinking and each one teaching one. That's what we need. We don't need no hope. Each one teach one. I like that. So, hey, we all got to read something. We about to get ready we to get up. Hey, we can't, hey, the brother Rod Hayes, this right here is a, a classical tape right here. This is a classic, man. This question and answer tape right here is one of the finest tapes that they got today we did. Because we just got directly into just answering like a lot of questions that people had that they really wanted the, the answers to. We didn't get to everybody. We got, we'll do a part two. Well, you get your questions answered on the next one, man. So, uh, like I said, we're going to have all, uh, the bro we got the brother uh, IG in the links. We got the cash app in the links if you want to show the brother some love. Uh, man, we want to thank y'all for tuning in, man, to the Young Elder TV, Young Elder Show, man, with the brother Rod Haynes, live, free Larry Hoover, free Malachi Z. York, free uh, Angel Bay, right? We about to get up out here, man. Islam, uh, you want to say something, Rob, before we get out of here? No, but let's go ahead and close it on out. You're doing good, right, brother. Islam. We'll be back. Peace and love. Hotel, uh, should divine love throughout the violence your diverse to all, all, all. All right, thank you, brother Love. I mean, thank you, uh, thank you, Rod. Rod, we, we're gonna get out of here, man. With the legendary brother Rod Hayes, baby. Well, who about God? Well, oh, about yeah, I like that outside nature, uh, feel, man. I like that feel. You just I like that, man. The outside deal. Yeah, I and normally come sit on the porch, drink my coffee in the morning. Storm down there? Uh, I hope not. It's pretty clear out. It's kind of okay. uh, sun blocked by the clouds over on the east side, but you know. Okay. Most of the clock sky is clear. It don't look like it's gonna rain soon. Man, I think I, just, I think I just got hit with a raindrop. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, because it looked like it, like the sky is a little uh cloud. Hey, look, oh uh, man, hey, you just, we, 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 we on we hot live on YouTube right now. Yeah, we live, man. We we live, we lit, we live. At hey, five. Elder, I got something. I gotta I gotta get out. Go ahead, go so ahead. Big Mama came to me last uh, this morning in a dream. All right, go ahead. Let me let me move that. All right, so um for. This is for uh, the guy Rashad Jamal, who is being held up on some trumped up charges in his community, right? The first thing they gotta uh, do is they gotta make amends with Ellie. Ellie the power. Ellie know what to do. Ellie 100% solid gold, right? So um, he, gotta, uh, he gotta have her run a meditation with the youth. The youth trust her. So she got to run the meditation with the youth and the uh, when she when she get back in touch with me, I'm going to give her this ritual called open her other way. And um, it's going to make some shit move in that situation for the brother. It should have been moved, but I didn't do a show cause after the hate. So they waiting on the show cause for me. But I need some energy from them in his support. Right. So uh, all of the ones that's in the um, Rashad Jamal's Cosmic University, they need to reach out to Ellie. And if they had anything negative to say about her, they need to apologize because she's solid, A1. And when they make amends with her, it's going to open up his case. That's big, that's big mama baby. Okay, that's the first thing. <clears throat> The next thing is that all of these people doing the human trafficking, accusing other people, 
they're going to be the ones catch the backlash from the opening of the way for the righteous. Right? Because the only way you can open the way is whoever did the dirt. They got an answer for their dirt. So if the, the university make amends with Ellie, I could tell her what to do next. Right? So uh, that's what I needed to say about that situation. Big Mama say this shit is over with. And now we have to start doing things that is a, um, a catalyst to a unification across the land. Right? So all of this uh, bickering and fighting that we've been doing because of this conjure war we about to get into, that shit got to come to an end. And um, we about to get into some shit right here. So uh, whenever you're ready, Elder, pull up the George Washington picture I just sent you with the challenge on it so we can review it once again for those who don't know what the kinds of war was. So while you're looking, um, I just sent them to you uh, in the file. So uh, while you're looking for them, I'm going to go over a little bit about the kinds of war. 1492, Columbus came to um, the islands of Central America and um, he brought with him uh, a collection of what's called conquistadors. The conquistadors is the army or paramilitary branch of the Tudors royal family. The Tudors is from Europe, but that ain't their original name. Before they was called Tudors, they were called Etruscans, right? And when they came over here, they changed their name when they left Al Maghrib after they got kicked out of Europe. They came over here with that bullshit and we fought the Gullah Wars. Now, there's two sides to the story about the Gullah Wars. The Gullah Wars, when you hear that term, that's us talking about it. When the oppressors is talking about it, they call them the Seminole Wars, right? And so in Florida, all of the, uh, all of the uh, tribes, we was going to fight in Florida about a thousand. That's why they could never beat us. And we was always increasing in numbers. The more of us they killed, the more we came. So after the Lewis and, or right before the Louisiana Purchase, the French lost the battle. And when the French lost the battle, they sold their protectorate rights to the English. It's called the Louisiana Purchase. When you read the treaty, the Louisiana Purchase was a protectorate agreement. The Protectorate Agreement gave them um, military rights to, you silent, um, Elder, you on mute. Oh, no. You on mute. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Oh, yeah, my wife was uh, calling me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so ahead, look, in the Louisiana Purchase, they had to do what you call a scouting expedition. So when you read Lewis and Clark, they talk about the translator that was with them, um, and they called him a big and stocky Negro. That was Benjamin Banneker. Benjamin Banneker knew all of the languages of the tribes. That's why they took him. Right. But he also was instrumental in declaring the property vacant because all of our castles was empty. All right. Now, the war gets so bad, we on the verge of genocide. We almost annihilated. But they are, too. Both sides have greatly depleted forces. Whoever win ain't going to be able to sustain anyway, unless we call a ceasefire. The ceasefire was organized in Paris, France, and it was called the Paris Accord back then, but today you know it as a treaty of peace and friendship. That's the ceasefire agreement. As part of the ceasefire agreement, all right, you can pull up George whenever you're ready. George Washington, who was Adam Weishaw, yep, who is Albert Pike, was the one instrumental in um, refereeing the Conjure War. Now, this was a side angle attack anyway on both of us, right? So we was fighting with Black Moors and Tawny Moors who came over as Dutch, French, English, and Spaniards. They wasn't pale yet, but they brought pale people with them as servants. 
most of the pale people they brought as servants came from Ireland and Scotland. That's why the original slave catching um, um, carts was called paddy wagons, right? So the paddy wagon was to pick up the Irish, right? The Irish that escaped. They stuck out like a sore thumb because the uh, pale people that we had over here, um, they was on the uh, west side of the Appalachian Mountains. We had the descendants of Scotta in Scotia had came over here fleeing the Catholic Church under St. Patrick. So once this uh, treaty is signed, the ceasefire agreement, right? Now we honoring every part of the agreement. They not honoring none of it. So all they have to do is keep the chiefs from seeing what's going on so they concealed it in the um, Masonic lodges and uh, took the fezes from the chiefs it took the feathers from, I mean, it took the feathers from the chiefs and the fezes from the nobles from Europe. And this is what the George Washington agreement you're about to pull up is going in too. But notice that the feathers <clears throat> is blatantly missing. It's conspicuously missing. <clears throat> so when you pull it up, it's going to say something about them giving up their fezes, but it's not going to mention the feathers. Not until they mention the sandals, which is the moccasins. Remember when we did that last one, we went over the shoes they wore. Because they didn't wear the same kind of shoes we wore. So this is how we know they ain't talking about them. They talking about us. Okay, blow that motherfucker up. Let's go over this motherfucker. One more time, y'all. This is the goddamn conjure war agreement, right? It say, if we would agree to take the fezes and turbans off the Moors' head and remove the sandals from their feet. They didn't wear sandals. We wore sandals. They wore fezes and turbans. Now watch this. And enforce severe punishment and to also swear a death oath between ourselves to religiously and faithfully not allow anyone to teach the Moors children. Now we all Moors at this part of the document, right? But this is where it could get interesting is, uh, to teach the Moors children who they really were, who their forefathers were, and allow the Moors children to be taught that they were truly Negroes, black people, or colored folks 200 years from today the Moorish people would not know their nationality nor their na the, the na their national name of their origin. Now, when you're talking nationality, you're talking about a corporation. All nations is governed by a uh, uh, uniform commercial code. So pull a uniform commercial code up because that's bigger than the Constitution. <laughs> that's global. The Constitution is so-called national. I got you. UCC. Oh, yeah, but we got something on now. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you want to show your brother Rod. Hey, some love. We putting this cash app in the links, right? So we're going uh, we to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it rolling. I'm going to get to Google real quick. Right, but come on. So oh, yeah. <clears throat> while you're looking it up, the UCC. Uniform Commercial oh, look, Code. Look up. What is Universal Code? No, just pull up UCC books and go to images. Uh, I got you. So, while you're pulling that up, the Uniform yeah, Commercial yeah. Code is called the Law of Nations. All nations is governed by Uniform okay. Commercial Code, and that's why in the United States, all laws is commercial. Yeah, right here, like look at this. Yeah, that's the straw man. The UCC connection. Yep. I got the straw man. Now, I did say the straw man. I got the straw man one too, though. I got the straw man one too, though. What, what mm -hmm. book you want me to pull up? Uh, let's go to the first one. <clears throat> okay, right here. Let's, right here. You, okay, the big, big joint. The big joint. Oh yeah, we got them. Okay, this is not the entirety because it's coming volumes. Okay, let's look at this one right here. What about that one? Right, that's that's good. Pull it up so we can see the uh, cover of it. All right, let me blow it up really quick. 
Say so joint to all things. Oh yeah, the folders that I'll be building with you, man. I'm, oh yeah, I'm gonna use, I'll be we doing heavy research on them joints. Oh, hey, right. one of my brothers live up in Flint. Flint, Michigan. Yeah, he asked me for the folder we uh, we used last time. I said, no, that was all off the top of the head, buddy. Man, freestyle off the dome, bro. <laughs> all right, let's pull up that book right here. We got the ads. Somebody in the uh, audience say, Rod Haynes, get these niggas, man. All right, so when we're talking about the Law of Nations, CSA contract law in theory, selected provisions, restatement of contracts, uniform commercial code, and CISG. Uh-huh. Right. Now you notice that it mentioned the contracts. Uh-huh. And um it's contract law in theory mm -hmm. and it's selected provisions. I mean that this is not the entirety of the uniform commercial code. This is what you call an extract. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so in the uniform commercial code, let's go to let's go see what, what, what Google said what the uniform commercial code is. I got you. It says Uniform Commercial Code, first published in 1952, is one of the number of uniform acts that have been established as law with the goal with the goal of harmonizing the law of sales and other commerce transactions. Um, let me try to find a, another one. Oh, look, I got you. Oh yeah, baby, we got some for them right now. That's the same one. Sit. The example is the sale and purchase of goods, commercial paper transactions from, for example, bank transactions, letters or credit, banking deposits, leasings. Okay, leasings. now that's this is what uniform commercial is. So the um um Jordan Maxwell got a video on YouTube yeah. where he explains that the uniform commercial code is the holy grail for business around the world. Okay. It's the one codified document that every so-called nation must abide by. Okay. Even if a coup happened and somebody rise up and overthrow the government, the uniform commercial code just switched to the new power structure. Uh -huh. it, it doesn't take away or it doesn't help them to stay in power because it has nothing to do with that. All it has something to do with is the business. Uh -huh. So now when I tell these motherfuckers that the uniform commercial code is the real law they governed under, as a national, right? Mm -hmm. And during Noble Drew Ali time, you needed nationality because the Uniform Commercial Code not codified yet. They got it. It's secret. It's in the barrister's chamber with all of the rest of the law books. But it's not published, as you see, until 1953. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, now. Who was these people that became the corporate jurisdiction United States? Who was they? They was two companies. Pull up the Virginia Trading Company. Got them. <clears throat> so remember, all they did off the treaties was restructure the corporate jurisdiction. You got the... You want to put their logo or they been look, and it, look, they got the Knights of Temple off where they sign. Ain't this some shit? You got to always remember that there was a fallout in the Knights Templar and they went two separate ways. Okay, yeah. I got you. All right, so you want me to blow? What you want me to blow up on this joint? Go to uh, go to the main page. Go to the R page. Because right, I want to know who the Virginia company was before we go to the other company that merged with them. The Virginia Company was an English trading company carried, chartered by King James the First on 10th, uh, uh, April 1960, 1906, with the object of colonizing the eastern coast of America. That's like the that, uh, 13 colonies. That, right? that date ain't right. 1906 can't be right. No, no, I mean, it's uh, 1606. Okay, that sounds more accurate. Yeah, my bad, 1606. The coast was named Virginia. After Elizabeth the first, and it stretched from present day Maine to Carolina, the Carolinas. That was called the Virginia Territory. Okay. 
All right, the other one is called the Northwest Trading Company. Do the same thing with that because we need to see who they is. I'm showing motherfuckers who these dirty bastards is. Get Go to where niggas. they are. Yeah, get them niggas, right? Get them niggas, man. Go to where they are. The Northwest Trading Company. All right, the Northwest Trading Company was an organization in Portland, Oregon. You know, they hit us on both sides. United States in 1879 by Paul Scherzou. I can tell you has got their name. And Henry Villard in order to do business in Alaska. Now, remember, Alaska wasn't part of America to the 19-something. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It was Russia, right? No. Yeah, it was part of the Russian territories. Yeah. Okay, now, this ain't the right company, though. Okay, this ain't the right one. The date's, not, the date's not right. Yeah, it's got to be like the 16. Let's, let's do this. We got the ad. Let's do this. 1600. Oh, yeah. Hold up. 1700s. Let's see which company set up the 1600 control British. Oh, yeah.